In the expansive assembly room at Hearst Castle, there are six tapestries hanging on the walls, with four that are almost 500 years old. The subject of these four is the story of Scipio Africanus, the Roman general who defeated Carthaginian general Hannibal during the Second Punic Wars, about 200 years BCE. These four tapestries and a fragment of another are all that is left of a set of ten tapestries, which were at one time owned by French King Louis XIV. The design of these tapestries is attributed to Italian artist Giulio Romano, and they were completed around 1550. Giulio Romano is credited with designing a great number of Flemish weavings. Giulio Romano was trained at the school of Raphael. As it turns out, Romano was so well known that William Shakespeare referred to him in his play, The Winter's Tale. It's the only time Shakespeare ever referred to a Renaissance artist in one of his plays. These tapestries were woven in one of the centers for the tapestry industry during the 1500s, Brussels. At that time, Brussels was located in an area called Flanders. Today, Flanders is part of the low-lying country of Europe known as Belgium. These Scipio tapestries and other copies woven at about the same time survive to this day, in part because they were woven of wool and silk. The earliest version of the story of Scipio Africanus was woven with threads of gold and silver. This original collection, called the Editio Princeps, consisted of 22 separate tapestries. Unfortunately, these were burned in the summer of 1797 by the French government to recover their precious metals. The title of this tapestry is Scipio Africanus receiving the Carthaginian envoys. In it, we see the Roman general Scipio, dressed in his star-covered blue cloak, walking among the envoys from the city of Carthage. The envoys have been sent by their leader Hannibal to sue for peace and beg for mercy after being defeated in the decisive Battle of Zama in the year 202 BC. Scipio appears merciful and noble as he gestures with his open arms toward the envoys. The border of this tapestry is adorned with acanthus leaves, flowers, and fruit. Near the bottom, we see young boys picking fruit and tugging at the leaves of the border. In the upper corners, we see shields. The one on the left is blank, but on the right, we see the coat of arms of the Dalban de Saint Andre family. It is believed that the Dalban family had the tapestries made with their family heraldry woven into the shields. This tapestry was loaned to the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles from December 2015 to May of 2016 as an example of the tapestries of Louis XIV.